Hey everyone, Gary Simon of course Cetro, and today I wanted to show you this brand new web service and it's 100% free to you. It's web-based and allows you to upload a design for an app screen and showcase it in a 3D layout. And it's very dynamic as you'll see. I'm also gonna show you how to do it the old school way, which still has its purpose and that includes using Photoshop documents with smart object layers, all right? So let me show you first this new way to do it, which I think is really cool. But basically, you go to thread.io, T-H-R-E-E-D.io, hit start the generator. Fancy animation here. Click upload. And here's a mock-up that I did from my previous course where you learn Adobe XD. Check it out my site. No, I'm not ashamed for plugging anything here. And the first thing I'll show you is color. So the background color. This is this section right down here. Um, we can make it black, of course, or dark gray, whatever that is, white. Um, we can get rid of it entirely. And so when we go to export it, it has a transparent PNG, or we can just make a specific color from a predefined set or put in a hex color code right down here. So we're just going to leave this transparent for the background. Next, watch this. Right now it's right facing. We can make it left facing or forward or back to right, very, very cool. Next, we can change the angle. And so then if we left click and drag, we can move this sucker around. All right, so we can also turn on and off the glare with this button. And we can change the phone color to black or white. And then finally, we can choose to get rid of the shadow right here. Finally, you can resize the actual document window by clicking this dragging this in, we'll drag this one in, and maybe we'll drag this out slightly right around there, there we go. And voila. So now once you're happy with it, click download. I'm going to show this in the folder. I'm going to right click off my screen. You can't see anything right now. You might see all my porn otherwise. And then open up Photoshop and here we go. So you can see this is only 33%. And so it's pretty large. It gives you a nice image to work with. And if I, you can, the fact that I made it transparent background, that allows you to do something like creating a new layer, make position to the bottom, and then just do something with the pen tool, for instance, to create some sort of abstract, you know, cool background of sorts. Okay, that looks stupid. All right, there we go. Connect it around and then maybe create another layer. We'll make this one light gray. Yeah, there we go. Pretty cool, not the greatest looking thing, but as you can see, very quick, very easy. So it has its benefit. Now, if you wanna see the old school way, let me just show you real quick. All right, so if you go to Google and you type in Photoshop, uh, Samsung mock-up or you know iPhone whatever latest one you're gonna find tons of results this is one of those results and these are always free for the most part and you just download this and it downloads a large file this one was 30 megs it's a zip file and open it up and this is what you're presented with for this particular mock-up template now these are dynamic in the sense that you can easily replace the actual image in the phone screen, but we can't rotate this crap here in, in Photoshop. Uh, you're stuck with whatever the composition and layout is. However, it is worth it if you're looking for a very specific type of composition for displaying your app design. All right, so to do that, we're just gonna double click on anywhere it has these little uh, templates here, or the smart object icons rather. I don't need all of these, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Double click on this one. Now, I'm telling you, this particular template has like 5,000 smart object layers. I'm just looking for the one that has a screen. So I'm gonna double click on this one, and then guess what? There's another freaking smart object layer. Finally, we arrive. Here's my mock-up here that we'll place in. We don't want any of this stuff. I'm just going to paste this. It wasn't quite enough large in terms of the resolution. Normally, you wouldn't wanna do that, but this is just for demonstration. Save it. And then you have to save all the subsequent smart object layers in order for the original that you opened up in Photoshop from the zip file for that to update. So now we go back here, 
And there we go. All right, so as you can see, this new way of doing it, very quick and easy. Hopefully you found something of value here. I'm, I'm basically here in a couple days, we're gonna start on a new topic for those of you who actually actively follow along on my channel, <laughs> not many of you. Uh, and that's going to be Electron Web App Development. And I'm really excited about this. It actually allows you to create executables that can run on desktop for multiple operating systems. All right, so I'll see you guys real soon. Oh, and by the way, of course, make sure you subscribe here at the channel at YouTube and also check out Corsetro.com.